Welcome to setting up your GitHub Enterprise licenses with Visual Studio subscriptions. First, we'll explore how these two products together provide a powerful set of benefits, followed by how to get your organization set up for success. Visual Studio subscriptions with GitHub Enterprise offers everything developers need to create, deploy, and manage innovative apps for any platform or device. The combination provides a fully featured developer environment, allowing developers to build and test with integrated debugging, testing, and performance tooling features, as well as more tools for cross-platform development. Now that you've purchased Visual Studio subscriptions with GitHub Enterprise, let's get your organization set up. We'll begin with instructions for new GitHub Enterprise customers. If you're an existing GitHub Enterprise customer, skip ahead to assigning Visual Studio subscriptions at 1 minute 57 seconds. As a new GitHub Enterprise customer, you and your team need to get access to your GitHub Enterprise account. As soon as GitHub has processed your order, an Enterprise account will be created with your allocated license count. At this time, you, the Enterprise admin, will be added to the account and you'll receive an email invitation. Click the button in this email to go to your GitHub Enterprise account. To add users, you need to have an organization to invite them to. To create an organization, select the New Organization button. Here, you'll name your new organization. Next, you'll add users that should have organization owner permissions, allowing them to add members and manage organization level settings. Be sure to click Finish when you're done adding organization owners. Now your new organization is ready for members to be added. In the Visual Studio Subscriptions Admin Portal, the Visual Studio Subscriptions Admin can assign a subscription to a user. If you're new to Visual Studio Subscription Administration, you should have received an invitation to the Visual Studio Subscriptions Admin Portal to begin assigning subscriptions. Once you click the link to sign into the admin portal, you'll be able to use the drop-down to add Visual Studio subscribers individually or in bulk using Microsoft Excel or Azure Active Directory groups. Just follow the prompts for adding subscribers, making sure to use email domains that can receive email and choose subscription levels that contain GitHub Enterprise. For those that renewed from regular Visual Studio subscriptions to Visual Studio subscriptions with GitHub Enterprise, you'll need to move your subscribers to the new level so they can be eligible to use GitHub. Just select Move Now and follow the prompts to complete the transition. Once a user has been assigned a subscription in the Visual Studio Subscriptions Admin Portal, GitHub will be updated with these users and will reflect them as pending members under the Invitations page. These pending members will display as having no invite sent and will need to be invited by an organization owner to an organization to access their GitHub Enterprise benefits. To add a user, navigate to the organization the user should have access to and select the People tab. If you're an organization owner, you'll see an Invite Member button. Click this and enter the Visual Studio subscription email of the user to send an invitation. Once a user receives an invitation to GitHub, they need to click the button in the email, which will take them to your organization and grant them member access. User invitations are valid for seven days before a new invite will need to be sent. If your enterprise uses enterprise-managed users, then you may need to inform your users of their access to GitHub. If you have questions, contact your GitHub or Microsoft account manager. You can also visit aka.ms forward slash GHE and VSS for more information.